The following is a presentation of the Belly Up Sports Media Network. What is up, everybody? Welcome into another episode of Rising to the Occasion. We're so excited to be able to give you guys content. And of course, as we've been trying to do on Thursdays, we try to give you our best bets for this weekend in college football. We're going to dive into our bets in here just in a second. Um, but first, let me go ahead and bring in my co-host, Jeremy. How you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good. Then I'm just really looking forward to college football this weekend. I know we got some really good games coming up this weekend. Like, for example, we got Notre Dame trying to redeem themselves after their unfortunate loss against the Ohio State University. And they got the Duke Blue Devils this weekend. Then even looking into um, other games like the Kansas-Texas game, that's going to be a really good one. But there's just so much college football that is really going to be really good games this weekend. I, I can't wait to get to Saturday just because we can watch some college football. But Josh, I know you've always been traveling. So I know how much have you had a chance to really get your picks in for this upcoming weekend? Yeah, man, I was looking around at these picks and I, I liked so many of them. You know, I was looking around at, at some of the spreads and everything that are that are available. Uh, first off, I think USC and Colorado being a primetime game on Fox was kind of silly. But then, you know, I look at some of the other games like Florida and Kentucky, uh, that was a, a really fun, that's going to be a fun matchup that I don't think is going to get as much attention. I'm sure we'll give it a little bit of attention uh, looking at some of it. But uh, And then, of course, uh, when it comes to betting, I, I wanted to put something in on, on Michigan, Nebraska. I had like eight picks uh, before finally having to narrow them <laughs> down, down to the, just the three for each of us. But before we do get into our picks, let's first tell our audience where we find all of our picks and how we can find uh, all of these these picks that we're making on these sports books. And that's by going to rising2.com slash bet. That's R-I-S-I-N-G-T-O dot com slash B-E-T. So you go there and you check it out. The amazing thing about what we set up over here at rising2.com slash bet is you go there and you find the most exclusive offers on the top sports books specifically to your region. So not only does it give you what's available to you right there in your region, but it also breaks it down, and it gives you the most exclusive offers. It gives you amazing offers like FanDuel. I think FanDuel is something like $5. Uh, you bet $5, and you get $200 in bonus bets instantly. Uh, and then there was another one. I think Bet365 was another one that stood out to me. You bet $1 and get $365 in bonus bets. So all kinds of amazing exclusive offers over there. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for you guys to be able to check this out. Uh, to be able to see what's going on because uh, I think all of these, these uh, it just makes it so much simpler because I think it's important to have multiple sports books if you're a sports better because you want the best odds and you want to be able to take bets on the best odds. You don't want to be uh, going in here and, and betting on DraftKings if FanDuel it has the better odds on that game and you don't want to be betting on FanDuel if Dra DraftKings has the best odds. So having multiple sports books and finding out which sports books in your, in your region uh, which ones are, are available in your region, it becomes kind of difficult. It becomes a hassle. But going over to rising2.com slash bet, again, R-I-S-I-N-G-T-O dot com slash B-E-T, you go there and you find everything. It makes it so simple. And again, giving you those exclusive offers that these sports books have to offer. And they're the best of the ones on the market. So again, go check it out and you can find the best sports books to be placing these bets this weekend. But I want to start off with jumping into our bets by starting off with my number one, the one that I think is the best bet out there because it's Utah, and they're an underdog to Oregon State. Now, I understand. I think Oregon State's been a very good team. They had a little bit of a battle against uh, Washington State this past weekend. But you look at Utah and how good their defense is. They were able to hold UCLA off, and they were able to, to, to keep them down and, and win that game defensively. That's why I think Utah, being an underdog here, I'm going to smash that bet. I think plus 140 uh, on DraftKings was the best I saw. Uh, so seeing that they're an underdog in this matchup, that's why I'm going over to Utah, and I'm picking the Utes to win this. I think that defense says it all. I don't care if Cam Rising's not playing because we've seen that they're good enough. They're good at running the ball, and they can put up, put up enough points for their defense to come away, come away with the win. Uh, so I really like Utah against Oregon State here. Not only do I like them to win, 
but you know the fact that they're an underdog and I can get them on a plus 140, I'm going to take that bet all day. But Jeremy, kick it over to you, man. What's your number one bet for this weekend? My number one bet, like I said earlier in the little skit, Notre Dame coming off the hard L against the Ohio State University. They got to bounce back this week. They got a really tough opponent, Josh. They are going against Duke this weekend. Duke is 4-0. Then obviously Notre Dame having the one loss last week, making them 4-1. But I'm sticking with the money line for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. I think they still got a a lot of luck on the Irish side. But looking at these teams, I mean, both talking about Notre Dame and Duke, these are two really good powerhouse teams. Talk about Sam Hartman and Leonard on the other side for Duke. I mean, both of them are putting up fantastic numbers for the beginning of the year. I know Leonard has 778 yards for this this season so far. Then I know, obviously, Sam Harbin has over 1,000 yards. I think it's 1,200 to be exact, or it could be a little bit more. But, I mean, looking at this game, I know people were really talking about what's Notre Dame going to do after this uh, this loss to Ohio State. But, I mean – any any guy you can really think, okay, that's going to be behind us now. Now we got to get ready for this upcoming week. Notre Dame is definitely a team not to sleep on an office, as you can tell. O- Ohio State got the lucky end of it. I mean, take it for granted. Notre Dame had 10 people on the field, but that's besides the point. No- Notre Dame is definitely going to be bouncing back this week against Duke. Like I said, they're a really good Duke team, so they really have to put everything out there like they, do, like they have in these last four games. But I'm sticking with the money line for the Notre Dame – fighting irish over the duke blue devils josh yeah, what's your number two pick uh that that is actually sitting too i like that pick uh with notre dame that's sitting at minus 210 uh so i was able to look that one up for you and, and see minus 210 uh, it's that's a good Perfect. a good little odds for that too because you would think notre dame would be higher odds uh or i guess i guess a, a, yeah. a, a lower odds i guess it would be so you lower would think odd. That that'd be <laughs> yeah it'd be it'd be uh, you know maybe minus 550 is what i'd be imagining in my head because it's the duke blue devils but like you said, this is a Duke team that is pretty tough. Uh, we saw what their defense did to Clemson in, in week one. So, I mean, that was that was a shock to the nation. But my number two pick, I'm going to go over to UCF Baylor over in the Big 12, jumping over here and looking at, at this matchup. Uh, I'm going to take the under 55. Uh, and, Jeremy, you know me. I don't like to take unders. But when I'm looking at this, I, I feel like, yeah, UCF has the offensive firepower. And I think UCF uh, is, is able to score – big but when i'm looking at this matchup the thing that i see is is first we're going to have a baylor team who is known for specifically uh for their defense i think dave aranda he's he's known for for piecing together good defense and we saw that texas battle a little bit last week where uh, you know baylor baylor didn't let texas put up 40 50 points uh we, we saw a baylor team be able to stand in there defensively a little bit against a very good texas offense uh, and so looking at this matchup, I think Baylor's going to be able to hold UCF down a little bit. I'm looking at maybe a 30 to, you know, I don't know. I mean, it's it's tough to pick this game because I think Baylor has just been on such a down slope. Uh, I, I could see maybe a, a 32 to, man, I don't know, 18 or something like that on one hand. But I could also see it much lower scoring at maybe like a 25 uh, to 18, somewhere in that range. So I like the under here. And, and the under sitting at minus 110 in most sports books there, too. So uh, that's my pick number two is UCF Baylor under 55 points. Uh, I like that one quite a bit. And like I said, just looking over at this, I think I, I think that UCF is a good offense, but I think Baylor's just that much better on defense to be able to hold this under 55 points. Uh, and it, it seems like everything that I feel like should be going over is hitting under this year, and that's kind of where I'm feeling. At, at this game too. So I like Baylor's defense. I think under 55 for that UCF Baylor game sitting at minus 110, pretty good odds right there too. But Jeremy, over to you. It feels really weird to hear you say the under. I, <laughs> I almost had to clean my ears a little bit just because you said the under. I'm now used to you saying the under, but yeah. going to my number two pick, I have the Iowa Hawkeyes versus Michigan state university Spartans. I'm sticking with the under as well. And it is currently sitting at 36 and a half by DraftKings. Now, obviously I know you look at both Iowa and Michigan state, what Michigan state has been coming along ever since they lost their coach it's been anything but successful. But looking on to the other side for the Iowa Hawkeyes, obviously, Kurt Ferentz and talking with Kay McNamara, I mean, 
look at Iowa, what they did last week with Penn State. I know, obviously, the outcome isn't what any Hawkeyes fan wanted, just to have a big goose egg on the board. But, I mean, you look at Iowa's defense, and they definitely were starting to hold their ground looking at the beginning of the game and holding Penn State inside the inside the 10, even inside the 5, and almost getting a safety at one time. I know, like I said, Iowa didn't want the outcome that they did, but looking out – of Outside of that game last week against Penn State, this is a brand new week going against Michigan State. Like I said, with the under being 36 and a half, I know between these two teams, I know they've been struggling a little bit, but I think Iowa is going to take advantage of not having Michigan State's head coach behind the on the headset. And I think Iowa is going to run away with it, but they're not going to run with it, run away with it to get over my 36 and a half. I'm thinking maybe like a a 14 to seven game or even like a, even like a 17 to 10 game. But I mean, anything's possible with between these two teams, but that's my number two pick, Josh, what did you have for your number three pick? Yeah. Yeah. I like that one too. Uh, like I told you, I was looking at that one. I wanted to hit the under, but I wasn't as confident. I'm glad that you have confidence <laughs> in picking that one though. Uh, and I couldn't put two unders on here too. And I really liked the UCF Baylor, but uh, that one, that pick that you just made too, minus one ten, really good odds there too. Uh, third and final pick for me, I've got Washington versus Arizona, all right? Because we've been talking about this Washington Huskies team. They are very good, mm. uh, and, and they're surprisingly good because they're better than what I would have expected them to be, and I expected them to be a good team. We talked about them in the preseason uh, and, and how much I, I like this Washington team. You look at Michael Penix Jr., you look at Odunze out there at, at wide receiver and what they're able to do on offense. This team is very good. Uh, so looking at, at Washington, they're sitting at a, a, a an 18-point favorite. I think they cover that spread against Arizona. Uh, I like I like how low this spread is. Uh, and sitting there at minus 18, uh, I, I, I wish I could have looked it up to, to see, too. I'm not sure what Washington is sitting at for covering the spread, but I feel like we've been picking them to cover the spread a lot, and they've been hitting it. Uh, they may not be undefeated, but they might be like 3-1 and one against the spread right now. So they're whooping up on teams. They're doing a really good job this year. Uh, them sitting at minus 18, if you pick that, if you pick them to cover that, that's sitting at minus 110. Uh, again, some good odds to, to pick there. Uh, and so I, I like I like Washington. I think they're going to beat Arizona, but I also think they could beat them by 20. Uh, so I like these. I like this spread. Uh, so I'm going to pick Washington. They haven't been letting me down whenever I picked them this year. Uh, so I'm going with Washington covering that spread this offense. Is just too good for anyone to keep up with, and their defense is good enough to, to keep them in the game. Their defense uh, for Washington is what I think USC would like to see out of their defense because they, they, they've got that bend-but-don't-break mentality. They're, they're going to let the other team score, but they're going to keep everything in front of them for the most part, and they're going to be able to slow the other team down for their offense just to do their magic. So I like Washington a lot here. Uh, taking that that spread at minus 18 and that's sitting at the odds of minus 110 but jeremy let's leave it off with a good pick here for pick number six total of this this uh episode but then also your number three pick what you got man my number three pick i'm saving the best for last year boys i got kansas and texas and i am going on josh's regular standards and i'm hitting the over with this <laughs> one at 61 and a half Two teams, you've watched Kansas and Texas. They've both put up great scores and great great numbers against their opponents. I mean, talking about Texas, obviously, easily the biggest win for them so far this season was their win against Alabama. Then, obviously, you look at the other side for Kansas. I haven't been able to watch much of Kansas, but I have had friends that have notified me that do live down in the Kansas area, and they have seen the Jayhawks play, and they are all telling me the exact same thing, and that is – Watch out for these Jayhawks because they have been lights out week in and week out. But these two teams, like I said, they've been both racking up unbelievable numbers. Both quarterbacks, obviously Daniels and then Quentin Ears, they're both performing at their high expectation like we expect to see these guys right now. And looking at this overall game, I think it's going to be a gunslinger of a battle between these two teams. I can easily see overall – I, I want to say close to 80 points between both teams easily, but obviously we're going to have to wait until Saturday Saturday night because I 
or correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, no, it's an, actually an afternoon game, so we'll get to see that game in the afternoon. So we get to see a good gunslinger battle game in the afternoon. Then I don't know exactly what the night game is, but I'm really looking forward to this game. This one was the one I had highlighted as my key game. So I'm smashing the over, as Josh would say, at 61 and a half. And as much as I would love to see Texas pull off, I just – I just don't know these Texas Longhorns guys. They've definitely been they've been showing the horns. So, Josh, give me your prediction and what would you say is your best for last pick for this? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, honestly, with that Kansas Texas uh, at sixty one and a half, I like that. Uh, and you're right. I think Kansas they've just been turning a page and they've been they've been shocking people. And I think they look better mm-hmm. this year than they did last year. So I like that sixty one and a half over. Uh, that's sitting at minus 106. I like that one uh, a lot too. And I, there was one of them that I was looking at. And again, I didn't have the confidence to put it on my list, but I'm glad you did so we can still throw it in there. Um, but man, I mean, that's it's going to be a fun fun matchup there because to see Kansas at 4-0 and for the second time uh, in, in two years, uh, this is unheard two of. Years. You know, and it's It's been so long since we've seen Kansas uh, this good. But uh, man, it's it's a lot of fun to look at these, these picks. And again, if you're into sports betting, this is the kind of stuff that gets you into the game because it just makes more of an ex- it, it, it makes it more exciting. It makes you feel like you are a part of the game. Uh, so if you're into it, if you like these picks, go ahead and, and throw throw a couple of these on the parlay. Make your odds even even better in your favor, uh, and 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 take a look at these. I think these are pretty confident picks that we that we're picking right now. I think they're they're pretty solid. Uh, so you know we we may not go six and zero oh on on this one, but I'm I'm liking us going maybe a a good solid five and one, four and two at the worst. Uh, so I'm, I'm liking all of these picks uh, that we've got right here too. So again, guys, go over to rising2.com slash bet. Find the sports book that is best in your area and find the best uh, exclusive offer in your area too because I'm telling you, you, you go and look at these offers. These sports books are offering a lot. And if you utilize that that free money the right way, you're betting with, with house money, uh, so ultimately, you know, you just, you got to check it out. Uh, so anyways, guys, that is it for this evening. Uh, we've got a bunch of picks. We've got six picks for you now to pick from uh, and see what you like. Uh, we've been doing pretty good at these pick too. So I, I like these quite a bit. Uh, go over and check them out. But obviously, as always, guys, we want you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you'd like to help us out. You can also hit that like button and hit the notification bell if you, you, if you want to know when we are able to upload here on the YouTubes. And uh, obviously, again, as always, go over and uh, give us uh, a little bit of a follow over on social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, I guess X. Uh, I, I still want to call it Twitter, whatever it's called this week. Go and, and follow us on social media. <laughs> uh, and then we've also got some TikTok going as well. But you can also, if you're listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, you can also take a quick moment, moment just to give us a five-star review. That is the best way to help us over on those platforms. But guys, we thank you all so much for your love and support. Uh, We will be live on Saturday morning at 8.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. So make sure to tune in live with us then because we're going to have a lot of fun talking about these games. Uh, And and a few of these that we picked tonight might be in in part of those those previews too. So tune in with us again Saturday morning at 8.30 a.m. Central Time. That's 9.30 Eastern. But guys, we thank you all so much for your support. And until next time.